Hey folks, Tony Lockhart here, and in this video we're going to get set up by changing the preferences in Harmony so we can start animating. It's going to make our lives a lot easier. A couple of things to note. Notice that as I hover over, you can see that there's a circle that shows the size of the brush. So I can increase or decrease the size of the brush, and it's a real handy tool because it lets me know where I am and how big the brush is going to be. Um, you know, if I'm going to go and make some line work. Here's another thing to know. When I click over here in the timeline, when I make drawings, the exposure is going to extend. So if I go and make my dot there, notice one, two, three, we've got, we've got a bunch of copies of that original drawing. Super handy to be able to do that because if you want to skip forward in time, sometimes you don't want to press F5. Instead, what you could do is just have the computer duplicate your drawings for you, okay? And then finally, the last thing. Notice the red box that's around the panel that I'm working in. So as I hover over each of these panels, it's going to go and identify which one I can make some changes in. So I think that's going to be super handy, um, you know, because sometimes you get a little stuck and the 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 computer doesn't do what you want it to do, it's, it's a good idea to have this highlighted so you know what the computer, what the app is trying to work on, okay? So uh, if you're on a PC, you would go Edit Menu Preferences, but since I'm on a Mac, I'm going to go to the Harmony menu and press Preferences. So anyways, Edit Preferences. I'm just going to restore all of these defaults. And then what I want to do is in the General, um, tab. I want to do this one. Focus on mouse enter. This is that red box that I just showed you. Okay. I'm going to move over to exposure sheet. So this one is um, by default, it's automatically enabled, but it's easy to turn it on and off. I'm just going to leave it on, but this is the one that will copy the drawings for you if you skip forward in time. I'm going to go to the drawing tab next and brush size cursor you want to indicate or you want to turn this one on and enable it so it shows you the circle that's the size of your brush and then the last one is in the advanced um, I didn't talk about this but go ahead and include this one this is called support overlay and underlays um, art what this does is it gives you some layers over here okay I'm gonna click OK and then now I'm all set and we can kind of close this video off because um, we're ready to start animating. All right, guys, see you in the next video. Thanks.